Well, this morning we're launching the programme for Dublin 131 Book. This is the ninth year, and this year the book is a poetry book, something completely different. It's called If Ever You Go, A Map of Dublin in, in uh, Verse and Song. And it's all about places in Dublin through the eyes of poets and songwriters. We wanted to make a book that would appeal to a general reader, but we also wanted to recognise the fact that for that general reader, very often there's a little bit of hesitation when it comes to poetry. And rather than make just a book of poems about Dublin, we wanted to collect, a, uh, you know, assemble a map of poems that refer to particular places in the city. This book was selected for this year's One City, One Book to bring people to another genre, to poetry, and move away from maybe the novels which we've done for the last seven years, but also a chance to engage with multiple authors, men and women, uh, living and dead, and you know, also to help people to maybe reacquaint themselves with poems they may have loved in years gone by and have moved away from, but also to introduce them to new poets and new writers of the 21st century and who will become their friends to the rest of their reading life. So the significance of the One City, One Book initiative is that it encourages everybody during the month of April to read the same book. So we're encouraging reading, but we're also encouraging the sort of social side of reading, which is, you know, chatting to somebody about the book you're reading. And it's great when you find someone else who's reading the same book, particularly if you get into it. So it's to create that kind of atmosphere that sometimes happens when you get a, like a global blockbuster. We're facing into the month of April, and every single day in the month of April there'll be something going on connected with the book. And because the book is uh, a map of the city, a lot of the activities are walks, cycle tours, trains, the Irish Rail are giving us a train, so there'll be a dart going from Connolly Station to Bray and back again. And all with poets on board, or people talking about the poems that are connected with an area. So every corner of the city and county is featured.